Welcome to our special Christmas edition of Scene Stealers. JD and I saw a very Christmassy movie just the other day, and we're here to talk about it. Apocalypto, the new Mel Gibson movie. JD? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, this this movie is nuts. It's First of all, it's an action film. I was anticipating going into this movie. I thought, okay, so Mel Gibson's got something to say about the Mayans. And, so, and, and there's, <laughs> there's nothing to say about the Mayans, really, in this movie. I mean, the first 30 minutes are like Animal House. It's like a fraternity right. dick and fart joke sure. movie. Yeah. And then you go through a, a phase where there's like Subtitles. horrible upheaval. <laughs> yeah, And then there's horrible upheaval and, and a... a, a traveling to the Mayan capital sure. and then the rest the other 90 minutes of the film are, are a chase movie and once you get to the Mayan capital that's when you really learn about all the intricacies of Mayan culture not really not at all yeah, no, not even not slightly <laughs> It's pretty much a, a laundry list of Mel Gibson's fetishes up on screen. Uh, you got your enslavement. Uh, you've got your uh, uh, sacrifice, human sacrifice. Uh, I mean, decapitation. basically decapitation, yeah. multiple decapitations, multiple bodies rolling down pyramids. Yeah. There's been enough stuff said about how violent this movie is. But the insane thing about it is that as a violent movie, it, it because of the way the violence was presented, you can't take it seriously when mel gibson puts violence on screen it, it might as well be you know fucking braveheart or or martin riggs from 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 lethal weapon right because he's up there and uh he's really fetishizing it i mean he's making violence you know violence for violence sake yeah. And that's it. It doesn't say anything except, wow, look at how gory I can make this. And that, that doesn't do anything except, like you said, make an action film and, and honestly make it kind of silly. There are, there are moments where there could have been real suspense and like things happen, and there were a few instances for that. But like for instance, there's the scene at the end of the film, or close to the end of the film, where he's running from the panther. Which eventually, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. rips the guy's face up. But, you know, when he's running from the panther, how many times did they cut back to the slow motion shot of him running from the panther? Almost as many times as Peter Jackson did in Return of the King. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, but. Yeah. No. And King Kong. He did that in King Kong, too, with the natives. I like Jackson, but King Kong sucks. Oh, uh, here we go. We're not going to get into this. It would have been fine if it was a silent film. Ugh. There'd been no talking. I can't believe you like that. Movie. You know, I really don't want to get into a fucking King Kong thing. We're trying to review Mel Gibson here. All right? Let's just stick to the fucking point. It's a heart attack, heck, 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 you ought to know by now. So to sum up, Apocalypto, not so awesome. I really wanted Mel Gibson batshit crazy. I just wanted it to go good instead of totally bad. But, uh, I, you know, I, this is an action movie set in the Mayan culture, and he doesn't, you know, I thought maybe he was going to say something, anything of substance about that. And obviously he thought he did, or hoped to, but total fit, just abject failure at that aspect of it, for sure. It's a, it's a solid rock fist down for me. It was a very big disappointment. I think what Mel Gibson wanted to say about the Mayan culture is, dude, they stand on top of pyramids, and they cut out hearts, and then they roll the bodies down the pyramid and put them in big pits of headless people. Just like everybody else, you can cut half the head off a of Mayan, and blood will squirt out. There you go. Uh, Apocalypto, for me, also a rock fist down. I like violence as much as the next guy, but this was just ridiculous. It was a little too silly for even me. So there you have it. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah from Mel. This is so emo.